doors can open. Well, I show up, I think, at about 7.30 for setup. By the time I get there, there's already people in the line. Probably 30, 40 people that were there last year. And if you don't have an interview, and you had your heart set on some place, and you didn't get an interview for, people will line up in that line, and they will wait. They'll come in, people they register, and they'll run down the hall. Run down the hall. Sometimes it gets, it's awful. And you will go to that list of all the employers, and you'll see who has open slots, and you will sign them. Okay? Because some people will have, will have cancellations up until the last day. You can take advantage of that. And I, I know there were students in this class last year who were able to get interviews through that exact method. So if you have a hard set on an employee that you didn't get an interview with, just make sure you show up. Okay? And we can talk about that as we get closer to you. Those same day slots are still in first come, first basis. So if you show up at like 6 30, you're the first person in the door, and you just fill up a bunch of slots, you get them. Floor as they say. And you you could, do, you could decide to do without. <clears throat> Lastly, any questions about that process, about the interview process? Anything I've talked about so far? No? Great. It was that clear? Great. Yes? What day is it in February? Or is it February? Oh, not good. Yeah, February 4th. Thank you. Okay. February 4th. The 10 days in the all day. It comes up fast. Like, in a matter of weeks, I mean, you guys are in stocks and studies right now, right? December 15th, that's going to be when, you know, I want you to already be thinking about this process. Be ready for what happens. By December 15th, many of you are going to be exhausted. You feel like you're tired right now? Tired. Just you uh, And by December 15th, I want you to learn because the stuff will start happening. Any other questions? I think I will. Yeah. Oh, good, great. Is there um, a certain amount of like interviews you can accept? Do they limit you in any way? Like, you have to choose your job? Not as far as I can tell. Not as far as I can tell. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you want to write a perfectly tailored cover letter for every employer. And yeah, people have gotten a lot of interviews. I mean, um, I suppose this guy's not. What are the nine schools participating? It's all the nine schools in the Bay Area. Let me get back to that subject in just a second. Quickly, I'm going to tell you about the Athens first, okay? Uh, but yeah, it's um, USF, St. Clara, Berkeley, Stanford, Davis, George, Hastings, Hastings, uh, JFK. Well, you can see you can add that to the Last, certain. Um, yes. Quickly, I'll tell you about Meet the Advocates, what you should expect. Meet the Advocates is an opportunity for you to meet representatives from the organizations that are coming to PIPS Day. Um, some of these organizations are unable to do formal interviews, maybe because they have a smaller staff. They really want to meet multiple people in a brisker clip, so they, they just do meet the advocates. <clears throat> Some of them, as I said, prefer the meet the advocates process because it's uh, you get to find that more engaged student. Um, but essentially, what it is is a series of small tables set up in a room much like this, and there's a different employer at every single table, and you basically walk the room and figure out who you want to talk to. Anybody have attended an event that we hosted in August called Cowis Met this summer? That was an event where there was a, basically a table for every employer, but instead of employers, it was students who were sitting. And they were providing, you know, talking about their jobs. You just walk up to them and ask them, that, right? Same exact thing, except instead of students, they're employers. So you need to be a little bit more on your game. You need to know a little bit more about these organizations. You know, you want to show them your homework a little bit. So there can be a great way for you to meet a lot of employers at the same time. Um, you're invited to gather around while they, they talk about things. You, you can even set up an interview. You can even like have a spontaneous interview. That happens to a student who got a job. Last year, with uh, Legal Aid of Marin, they walked up to, the, to, to Paul Cohen. They started talking. Paul just started interviewing. So, oh, he says here on the resume, he speaks Spanish, and then started talking to him in Spanish. Which scared the student a little bit. <laughs> By the way, you shouldn't say that you speak Spanish if you do not speak Spanish. Never. He sort of spoke Spanish, and he ended up getting a job. So there's a lot of things you can get a job through the media application session. 
Um, you don't need you don't need to pre-register or submit any application materials. In fact, if you have a job like that, by the time the FDA state comes around, you just attend and meet people. It's a great network for you to Think of it that way. They're expecting to see students. They're wanting to meet students. You can tell them, listen, you know, if, say you're either in step, if you have, or you're planning on taking classes all summer, or you're, 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 you're not going to be looking for a summer job, you can still go and meet with people and say, I'm, I'm not looking until the fall, and maybe talk to them about when they're looking for applications. Does that make sense? So HOP peers particularly, I mean, go to this event. It's going to be really helpful for you. Um, the meet the advocate session only takes place between 9.30 in the morning and 12.30. When I go to a PIPS day, I really like to work in the media advocate session. It's lots of fun when the students come in and they're like trying to figure out who to talk to and they're like moving quickly from one employer to the next. And it's, it's, it's kind of exciting. So um, there's actually a lot of events like this you'll find in your law career. A big event happens this next year. We still all second year, but we still all first years here. Okay. The new people join us, sorry. That's why I got here. There's a big event next year at the Equal Justice Works Conference in Career Fair that happens in DC that's set up exactly the same way. A lot of networking job, job fairs are set up just like media advocates, and it's a good introduction to it. Um, any questions about media advocates? Yes? Um, sorry, just going back to the interviews really quickly. Please. Are they only interviewing for summer positions or fall as well, or do you have to designate? Some fall. Last year, uh, two years ago, I think. I felt like a lot of employers were looking at fall, and certainly not as many as were looking for summer. Mm -hmm. uh, I found that there was a bit of a drop off last year in terms of people who were looking for fall. Um, I don't know if that's a trend, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it's something to be aware of. And I think the people who were looking specifically for fall did find a lot of value out of the applicants because you know maybe they were, were going to apply to ESOU, for example. And that gave me the opportunity to talk to them a little bit longer, you know, unadulterated for 15 minutes. You know, if you have her attention, you introduce yourself. Listen, I really came here to meet you because I really am intending to work for you in fall. And it's a great opportunity for you to just introduce yourself. Yes? So you're in the honors program, you still suggest you to apply for the interview? Oh, yes, absolutely. In some of the interviews, uh, the, form, the formal interviews, they will describe for you that they are looking just for summer, in which case you shouldn't bother applying. But if you see that they're also going to be immediate advocates, definitely attend, because they are expecting to see students. They're expecting to see students, and they might ask you, this has happened to students before, uh, where they've interviewed, uh, they've applied for a, a position, and uh, the employers ask them, so did you come to PIPS today? Oh, no, I, I didn't go. Why didn't you go? I was there. You could have met with me. You could have chatted with me. Um, and they certainly didn't say that, but they're thinking that, you know. It's important to attend. Any other questions about media advocates, formal interviews? Any? Yes? When is Meet the Advocates? Same day. So, oh. the same time that interviews are happening, Meet the Advocates is happening in these two large conference rooms. They'll have one just for public interest employers and one just for the government. And you can go to each room and you can just meet as many people as you can. They're happening in the morning of PIPS day. So from 9.30 to, uh, to 12.30. After 12.30, the advocates is over and the event is all just about four hundred. Does that make sense? Any other questions? Yes? Um, so you're saying that the interviews are going to be happening in the morning of PIPS day. I want to step away from PIPS day just for a minute to talk about applying for jobs generally. First of all, I'm going to Thank you. So you did. No, no, thank you for being. No, no, no. I mean, I think this is sort of dovetailing with this, right? So nine schools participate, right? Yeah. And as I already described, you gain nothing from applying further. So, what is PIKS Day for you? It's an opportunity for you to throw your hat in with a bunch of other students from other schools at the exact same time. You want to make yourself really stand out. You want to make sure you apply to people who you have hearts set on for them. So consider your application process something like this. A couple of tiers, right? You can start applying for jobs. First years can start everywhere around the country. All first years can start applying for jobs on December 1st. No earlier. So spend this next month creating some application materials, resume cover letters for employers that you are focused on getting for the summer. 
and have those ready to go out of sight. Be the very first application that they receive. Why not? They'll know if they get it on that day that you really are committed to it. After that process, participate in PIPS Day too. But I wouldn't let that be the first time an employee that you really love hears from you. Because you're right, they're going to be getting they're going to be getting your application the same time they get applications from students at every other law school in the area. Everybody still with me? Some employers say that, have said to me, "Listen, I respect the PIPS Day process. I don't want to derogate it in any way, shape, or form. So I'm not going to look at applications before." I want my first application to be PIPS. But that's not most employers. Most employers say, I'll at least hold open a few slots for PIPS day. Like if I'm hiring 10 people for the summer, I might hold three slots for PIPS day. That means if I get 10 applications in December, I'm going to hire seven of those people, right? You want to be part of that early process as well. Because that is the first app. I mean, you're, you're sort of diminishing your chances if you wait any longer. Okay? And some employers will say, a, a good chunk of employers will say this. They'll say, our application, you can, a first year is going to apply to us starting December 1st. If we don't get their application, if, if we fill all our slots with people we love by uh, January, we just won't interview anybody. We'll just decide not to interview anybody. On January 20th, we're going to get all these applications from PIPS, and we'll just say no to all. So why not apply December 1st? Is everybody with me? Everybody's going to start applying December 1st? Can I see some nodding hands? <laughs> December 1st. December 1st is the date to get your materials out. Because that is when you have the greatest chance to get the employer of your dreams and uh, the greatest impact to be sure. Um, Every year, there are different trends, and who knows what people are looking at and applying. But I can tell you that if you apply December 1st, your chances are very good. If you're still looking at the PIPS day, much to my shock and surprise, you start applying December 1st. Continue to send applications. People find jobs at the last minute every single year. Every single year. There's no reason in the world why somebody who doesn't, who wants to work, can't find that job. Does that make sense? That was my little feel on applications. Yeah, that's all I have. Any other questions? Cool. Thank you very much for coming.